Hello everyone, you're here with H. Hell has frozen over because one, where has everything gone? And two, where where has everything descended to in my life that I'm watching Jody once again? It came up in my recommended, right? S busting a scam, seven years, all that stuff, right? I thought, what? Seven years is insane. I clicked it. It's Jody. It's Jody, the original video of Jody. Now, I reacted to Jody long time ago. If you want to watch the shambolic bad quality that I created, it's up there, that first commentary where I was hounded by racists, all sorts of great stuff. <laughs> but now, it's it's been long enough, right? I've had the opportunity to not think about Jody for some time now and I thought to myself F it let's watch Jody's original just to see how it's a prequel right the Hollywood the Hollywood the movie industry they can shove out prequels you know just randomly once you've seen the entire Five movies or something like that. Drop the franchise you think I'm referring to there, by the way. So I can do the same. It's prequel time. Okay, let's go. Hello, everyone, and welcome Hello. to another episode of Scamfish presented by socialcatfish.com. Yeah. Today we speak to a woman named Jody from Oregon. She met a man named Colin on the dating app Match.com. Oh. The problem is that she never met Colin in person after being in an online relationship with him for over seven years. Jody has sent Colin over $30,000 and he claims he is now stuck in Accra, Ghana. Wow, that's insane. By the way, actually. guys, we are so close to 20,000 subscribers and we appreciate all the support. It really helps when you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Go do that, but you already are. That's insane that this video is three years ago and they were just, I forgot already, goldfish memory, either around 20,000 or they reached 20,000. I, kudos, they've come a very long way. So please like, subscribe, and comment to this video as well, please. Share it with your pets. Shout out all the pets that watch me. Just because, you know, three years later, who knows where we will be. Let's see what Jody has to say. Oh, well. Okay, uh, my name. For just off the bat, right? Ozzy Osbourne, I hope she's not racist in this because I can't bear it within my soul, all right? Let's have some character arc. <laughs> the worst character arc in just history of ever. You know, if she's not racist here, then the next episode, years later, she became racist. And then, well, she didn't become racist in that time. She was probably always a racist, but... We're standing up. Look, standing upstream. <laughs> is Jody Ebert? Um, Ebert. I contacted Social Catfish because I've been watching some videos. I started online dating 2013-14, and uh, I was comparing prices and deals. Wow. I finally went with Match.com. Price-wise, it looked better. I was on there for a while. And Sorry, is this a Match.com advertisement there or something? Why? I've never heard any of the other victims say that they were searching for good deals and went with Match.com because it's cheap. Sorry. Um, Match.com. Sponsor me. Because if you're getting Jody to sponsor you, then... Sure, sure as hell, I should get one. Not a glimmer of anything. And then I happened to be on one night and this guy came on and wanted to chat. His name is Colin O'Connor. And he sounded... No, his name's not Colin. It's Colin! If you've watched the previous, which probably you should... But if you are, you know, not new to these videos, you know Jody already, so 
If you haven't, then go watch my previous one. Nice. I was just looking for a guy to date, and he was in the military, like a lot of women. I guess I'm attracted to military guys. He sent me some pics later on, and he looked cute. He looked uh, pretty young. He... Uh. He looked pretty young. But what's the what's the relevance there? Oh, sorry, I know the relevance because I'm watching the catfish show and they all have a fetish for younger people. Apparently, <laughs> I love when you send a picture of yourself in fatigues in a, in a helicopter, right? That looks military grade. And you get a message. Oh, so you're in the military? No, I'm cosplaying. Shut up, Jody. <sighs> Anyone else like military men, military women in the comments? Drop it down below. Why? I don't, I've always wondered why. Is it? Is it like the authority? You know, the aura that that service men and women carry. I'm assuming that's what it is. You know, strapping. You care for more than yourself. But let me know your th thoughts. Do you like service men and women? He calls me honey, queen. You're my queen. Okay. You're my angel. You're Let's get the red flag for this one. Because I tell you right now, if there was ever, you know, you know those like drawings and images of, you know, angels, they're actually quite scary looking if we are going off of religious context they are quite scary not the bloody you know angelic because that's what angels you know angelic the white dress with the halo they supposedly don't look like that right just how as a kid when people used to draw a heart and you know that sh it doesn't look like that though does it it's a just a slab of meat but if there was ever someone to not call an angel, it's Chody. And Queen, of course. Red flag for the Queen, bro. You're sweet. You trust me and I trust sweet you. Is... We have talked on the phone, but a lot of our conversation is texting. Jody and Colin were really hitting it off and things were getting serious after messaging each other online for over seven years. I will tell you one thing. You guys know me by now. You know what, actually? There's been a comment recently. And let's just address it here, shall we? Because from one hateful person in Jody to another hateful person, for some reason, can't get off this channel. I'll leave it up there. I'll even put my reply there, right? If you want to pause it and read it, you can. This person has commented many times now always some sort of they take one little thing from the videos and g expand on some crazy hypothesis mission that they're on that's not english but they'll probably pick it out if they're watching this video before they used to say you know i'll never get a, a catfish collab and stuff which i might not right i don't think it, there's been no movement since the last time it is what it is I'm going to keep creating. They're going to keep doing their own thing. If they want to, I'm here. So they used to say that. But now they've apparently been triggered by the fact I call Brutus, Brutus. And it's funny that they said, oh, why can't you call that one guy by his real name? You didn't even call him by his real name. You said that one guy, which I think is actually more having a dig than me calling him Brutus. And if you don't know why I call him Brutus, I've put up a picture of the wrestler Brutus Creed. You can't tell me that resemblance, you know, is not there, I guess. But anyway, whoever that person is, I've blurred your name probably. You need to get a grip of yourself and stop watching this channel, bro. Because the people who are leaving these type of comments, you're just such big fools. And I want to slander you even more. But you're hiding behind some username and not even a picture of something that is related to you. Get a grip of yourself, all right? 
And speaking of hateful people, why can't Jody take a picture that's somewhat flattering, right? Why are they always from like in hell, basically? She put the phone in hell and just, what's wrong with you? Like, look, basically the follow one is that I rarely take a dig at people's appearances. Even if they're a shit human being, they're a creep, whatever. I just don't think it's that funny, right? Because, you know, if I become a channel that just makes j jokes at people's appearances, I just don't think it's smart, I guess is the word. But what are we doing here? Stop it. Thank you. Or oh, not, actually. I don't really care about you, so... Ooh, you're hard, showing off. Colin seemed to want more out of the relationship and made tons of promises to Jody. He is promising marriage. He promises nice. new cars. Uh, Why? Go and pay cash for a house. He's got supposedly quite a bit of money. Supposedly. If I didn't think I could hate you more, supposedly, there's no B. There's no need for a B in here. I mean, if you're talking about B as in batshit crazy, then yeah, Jody, put the B there. Once again, not dissing anyone's appearance. Jody, however the hell old she is here, a military man with enough money to to pay cash for a house. Oh my. I'm available. They want he wants you. Sure though. And he still served his country. My favorite thing I guess he's done for me is uh he sent me some roses yesterday through a friend in Italy and our phone calls when I was in the hospital. He says that me and his son are his lifeline. He can't wait to start a family with us. <laughs> uh. Who remembers that image, huh? The best Photoshop you will ever see, huh? I think that I think the son was like dying in that bed, right? Don't you love it when the mask's edges, like, it's a stylish mask, huh? It's edgy. Look at me, I'm smiling in this picture as well for some reason. I, I love the fact that you've been sent roses via a friend in Italy because unless the florist is in Italy and Colin! is so romantic that he's picking out the world's finest florists for you. I'm not sure I understand that. So let me know in the comments, what does that mean? You got, you got friends in Italy now as well? Holland seems like a really stand-up guy, right? He's in the military. Well, he's standing up there. <laughs> Uh, like and subscribe just because of that joke, please. I'm really funny on occasions. <laughs> Family man and financially stable. The yeah. relationship was going great until Colin needed money for his son's doctor's fees. Mm. I started sending maybe $30 here, $100 there. A few months after we started talking, the money has been for tickets. Mm. Uh, medical bills. I sent some extra one time for some groceries for the son when he thought he was leaving. Don't you love it that the supposed, supposed, the supposedly rich man doesn't give a shit about his son enough to take care of the son with his own money. Don't you love it? Don't you love it? Huh? But sure, let's be honest here. I'm not sure Jody is, you know, gushing with romantic offers 
from many from many individuals. Many men are not here. All right, Fifty Cent. Many men don't. I'm trying to remix it because the next lyric is "wish death upon me," but I don't wish death upon anyone. Just saying, you can infer from my face whatever you want to infer if I mean that or not. You do what you want. I can't stop you. Which, you know, realistically, that person who has left so many negative comments, you carry on. Thank you for watching the videos, though. I hope you're watching the ads as well. Thank you. Please, if you're going to leave hate comments, just watch the ads at least, please. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Anyway, many men... They don't want Jody. Many men. She's a racist. Many men. Can do better. She's pointing that out there. So the delusion is very strong. Of course, if you've seen the previous one, you damn well know that it's very strong. And it's actually fitting that this scammer actually said, yeah, I'm stuck in Ghana. I can't remember if actually when they sent the tracking link in the previous, I can't remember if it was from Nigeria or Ghana, but it's kind of interesting that he did say he is in Ghana. I guess you could, you know, because obviously he's got a West African accent, right? I mean, SB, if you've seen it, not, it's not real, yeah, on the phone. So how she's, I say how she's not picked up on the fact it's a West African accent, but she's racist. So it's not like she's mixing with a lot of African Americans, is she? Anyway. Just say it. G shut up, Jody. The dad was leaving documentation for an item his major sent him from Afghanistan. Sure. Medical bills for his son, medical bills for him. The amount I sent him, I am not sure anymore. Uh, for a while, I was keeping track of that, but I have lost track. And um, maybe you need a FU gift cards link. <laughs> this is great banter. It really is. <laughs> By the way, I think it's a lot more than 30,000 that she sent. I think if I remember correctly, they mentioned she sent 30,000 in seven years. I think it's a lot more than that. Let's be honest here. I don't think you've sent 30,000. You, if you know Jodie especially, you damn well know she ain't sending just 30,000. Yes, I say just. If you want to send me just 30,000, I'd gladly accept. But she's the type of victim that has probably sent her life savings. Oh, geez. I, I, it's gotta be, what, close to 30 something. So this thousand? looks like a hostage video. But where did Jody get all this money from? The money I got is from my disability. Crazy. I am on Social Security Disability SSI, SSDI. So I took a little bit here, a little bit there, and uh, sent it to him the best I could. I almost did not pay my rent a few times in New York, but I was able to keep that up, and I just sent less. And since I've been moved back to Nebraska, I've been living with my mother, Nebraska. and she has been paying the rent. Editing H here, before we start talking about Nebraska, right, because recording H after this is going to start waffling about Nebraska, thinking he's funny, shut up, <laughs> not funny. <laughs> we are funny though. I'm definitely not treating this as a Venom and, you know, Eddie Brock type situation. <laughs> Yes, I'm crazy at times. Police! Police! Help! Anyway, she mentions there she had to move in, you know, obviously back with her mother and her mother's paying the rent and stuff. 
Can we just address the fact that Jodie's no, you know, she's not a young spring chicken here. So I'm, ass it would be right to assume that her mother is a lot older than her. So to put that sort of strain on her, now don't get me wrong, mothers are mothers. If you're lucky to have a good mother, kud oh, I say kudos. If you're lucky to have a good mother, a good mother, fair play. I mean, a lot of people are envious. Not everyone's parents are good. And the fact that Jody is essentially abusing that fact because the fact you've put yourself in such a position, seven years not meeting this person. I know damn well you've sent more than 30,000. Let's not beat around the bush here. And then you've subjected yourself, Jody, Jody's self, to live with her elderly mother. All financial, essentially, strains are put onto her mother. If you wasn't a piece of poo before, then you're a piece of poo now. Okay, back to the recording age waffling about Nebraska now. Hold on, a s Nebraska? Didn't we look at a recent video where the Navy supposedly were in Nebraska? So not only are the Navy in Nebraska, but Jody's in Nebraska as well? What's going on here? I, if I remember correctly, people said Nebraska is landlocked. Which means, if I'm correct, there's like no water. But I think we're missing the very big body of water in Nebraska. The Sea of Delusion. I didn't know she was in Nebraska. Unless I just forgot because I watched it a long time ago. But regardless. Hey, there you go. Uh, if anyone was to deal with Jody, it's the Navy that's in Nebraska. By the way... I can't remember if I said this in the previous either, but the fact she's using her disability allowance to send to someone else she's never met, I find it a spit in the face, not only to the government, which you can have your opinion about the government or whatever. Me, I'm not too fond of the government in most countries, I guess, to my knowledge. If anyone wants to point me towards a good government... I'd gladly move there. But for the most part, I don't really think governments have it in them to actually care for working class people, lower class people, perhaps people with no affluence, basically. Basically, we're opening our mouths and being defecated upon. But let's not turn this into a uh, political type channel, I guess. It's a spit in the face to the government, because, cool, they're giving you this money, I guess. Unless I'm wrong, and they're not giving it to you, and someone else is, but I think it's the government. But it's a spit in the face of people who, who also receive such money, and they still are struggling with said money, because we might as well take your, you know, portions of your money... To give to the people who are actually using that money on themselves to try and better and sustain some sort of a life. So F you. <laughs> Not the gift card tracking link, just F you. And a lot of the bills and I still get some disability and a lot of that has been going to him. Sad to say. Whatever. Jody has sent so much money to Colin that she is unable to live on her own now. Colin gets angry when she buys stuff for herself. Nice. Uh, last time I bought something for myself, I think I squeezed out a pair of jeans this year. I can't remember when. Let's just address this for a second, right? I'm not too sure on if this is a reasonable price for jeans, but... Obviously, it being Levi's, uh, perhaps in America is different pricing and stuff. But at least in the UK, Levi's usually up the price of their jeans. Anyone in the comments, let me know. I don't wear jeans 
And I'm not going to lie to you, I don't think I've worn jeans in years because I hate the feel of denim on my legs for some reason. Let me know. Is that a lot for jeans? I think that's a lot. Like, surely you can go to like a thrift store or in the UK, for example, we have Primark where you get jeans for like £10, which in euros, euros? I guess in euros. I don't know what that would be. In dollars, I don't know what that would be. Not a conversion expert, am I? (laughs) Unless it's converting people to not be victims of scam, then I'd like to think I can do a good job. But let me know, that seems excessive. $60, basically. Just saying. I mean, Levi's, though. Sponsor me! I've probably lost a Levi's sponsorship by saying that, but still. But I think I did squeeze out a pair of jeans, and uh, my next major thing was getting this bed yesterday, and my first payment is due in a couple of weeks. Right. My eye immediately was drawn to that. Air weave and the anti-sex Olympic mattress myth. It's actually, what is, it's a weird coincidence that the Olympics recently has just finished. And, you know, we're watching this, the Olympic mattress, anti-sex. Is that a thing? I think boxers, for example, don't have sex, right? Don't release themselves in order to somehow better themselves. Maybe something to do with hormones. Let me know in the comments if you're a boxing expert or something. But what, Olympians don't have sex either? What's the science behind it? It says myth there, so I don't know. Maybe the mattress is a myth. Maybe Olympians not allowed to have sex is a myth. I don't know. However, I will say that surely if you're struggling for money because you know you're fleecing your own self and sending your disability allowance to someone in Ghana or Nigeria one of them i can't remember whilst being a racist the irony right <laughs> but if you're doing that and you're struggling you know i'm going to assume that they've just shown the levi's jeans there but if those were the actual jeans that you've spent money on while struggling you're a fool right like If you're struggling, surely you don't go for expensive clothing like that. At least that's just me. When I was homeless, my mum wasn't forking out for designer clothing, right? She tried her best, sure, to get me designer clothing to make it feel as if we had money, if that makes sense. Which sounds really sad, but I know it is what it is now, right? Uh, And I'm thankful now that I can afford, if I choose to buy it, not go crazy, right? Some people spend 500 on like a hoodie or something because it has like a Givenchy on it. You guys need to get a grip of yourselves. But hey, it's your money. You do what you want. I would not do that. But (laughs) sidetrack to the max. Maybe I need to sleep on this mattress. It does look quite comfortable. Not with Jody though. For the love of everything that's holy in this world. And if I remember, she's buying a mattress. And I think she's going to move in with her mum, which is, you know, goodness. <laughs> Having to live with Jodie, huh? Uh, what in the hell was I talking about? Ah, if you're struggling, you do what you want with your finances. Ultimately, I can't tell you what to do, right? But I can urge you to make better financial purchases, create English, than $60 jeans when you're struggling already. Just saying. He is wanting me to, I guess, return it or not pay, make the first payment and send him the money. And I told him no. Um, I did say I may could do something this month, but I am not putting an amount on it. I'm going to do this objectively, right? We're just going to treat this as the normal 
scam fish reactions because if we're talking about victims I hate, it's Jody the most, right? The bigotry, the the delusion, the ungratefulness towards the people who have helped her. It just, you know, mishmash, it ain't nice, is it? Who remembers Woolworths or Woolsworths? Woolworths in the UK where you could go in and they had like those pick and mix sweet machines. In this case, the pick and mix is not sweet despite what Colin has said. She's not sweet. Uh, but I'm going to treat this objectively like it's a normal one. If someone you've been speaking to online, you've never met in person, I'm going to even go as far to say even in person, right? I know it might be hypocritical of me to say, oh, you shouldn't let anyone tell you what to do with your money because I've literally just said, you know, make better financial purchases when you're struggling. I don't think you can really compare the two, but sure, you can call me a hypocrite if you want. If someone in real life tells you, hey, you know, you can't buy this for yourself, you need to send the money to me, which actually is completely different from what I said. So I'm not a hypocrite. Sometimes I am, though. You can F off. You tell that, you run away from that person because if they're controlling your purchases, you are in for a very bad relationship. Like, I'm telling you now, before it even escalates any further, if they control such a small aspect... Now, don't get me wrong. If I have a partner and I tell her, hey, don't buy this, I don't really think it's a good purchase. I don't really think it's, you know, you know, save your money. There's something else better. Mm, that's not really the same thing as don't buy this, send me the money instead, if that makes sense. So if someone is doing that, it's very controlling. So I'm, I, we can really see the desperation that Jody is exuding here because... You should not be with someone who's controlling such small aspects already. I say that it's probably been seven years to this point. <laughs> and by the way, seven years and not seeing someone is ridiculous. The recent Barry episode, I'll put it up there. Man was talking to Grace, aka Summer Ray, for five years without meeting. You are an absolute fool. I'm not making any promises because I want to pay my bed. I want True. to get a new phone. I want to get some new shoes. And I think I deserve it? it. I put things on hold too long. And I'm tired of it. Yeah. Editing age here. I made a little comment there, but I don't know if you can really hear me over Jody's insufferable waffling. But she's talking about putting things on hold and she's referring to shoes, etc. Uh, look, maybe I'll give her the benefit of the doubt, but this is the H channel and it's Jody, so I don't want to give her the benefit of the doubt. There's no mention of helping out bills around around the home. Uh, she's essentially barged into her mother's home, said, I'm living here now because I've been scammed. Thank you. No mention of helping with the rent that she said her mother pays. Shoes, clothes. Uh, what's going on here? This is an adult, bro. But okay. Have you or anyone else you've known gone through something similar to what Jody has? I mean, drop it in the comments. I know sometimes people do leave comments that they were either involved in a scam or close to being scammed. But let me know in the comments. And I want to ask you also the question, you should also drop this in the comments. Why have they put this picture once again of Jody right next to, you know, this split screen here? Why? Why? Comment down below. We love to hear your stories. If you tell me he is real, I will be ecstatic. Huh? Uh -huh. The, the classic immaculate handwriting from the previous episode, huh? He sneezed whilst writing it. I <laughs> I love you, Jody. Love. <clears throat> that was shit.
<laughs> Rubbish, but I'm going to leave it in. I love it. I love the fact that he did the heart. Uh, which looks like a ball sack on a very hot summer's day. The U looks like a horseshoe that's been fondled, we'll say, by Magneto. But sure, realistic. Uh, Where is he here, okay. by the way? We would be absolutely on cloud 20. That does not exist. Because there's only cloud 9. Actually, you know what? If you're telling me that the delusion has taken you out of this world and we're no longer dealing with clouds of a regular nature and there's cloud 20, sure, that's how deluded you are. So I'll believe you. Where is he in this picture? Because if he's supposedly stuck in Ghana, is this in Ghana that he's taken this picture? He's just randomly carrying a piece of paper, you know, whilst he should be on the battlefield or something. Someone explain to me. <laughs> also, I instead of using the money to purchase a pen and paper, which probably you didn't purchase, you stole it from your sergeant. How about use time more wisely and go be with your son? Just saying. Social catfish. God. I need you to help me determine if this person this guy is real like he claims to be or fake like by the way if you haven't realized yes this picture here that hat and that exact face with the same expression is the same picture as him sitting on the bench with the card because jody apparently despite the fact that she wears glasses maybe use your money on some better glasses how about that? She can't tell that it's the exact same expression. Don't get me wrong. Models, for example, they have a similar pose that they do for pictures, no matter what brand they're working with. I don't think this man, I don't think Colin is a model. But OK, the J on his shirt stands for joint. Because <sighs> that's the only thing that would make sense as to how deluded Jody actually is. The worst type of delusion on the show, you could argue. But nevertheless, it's surreal to me listening to her there. I want the catfish team to tell me or help me that, you know, tell me if it's real or not. Because when they do, it just doesn't matter. So what's the point? I kind of am scared he could be. Uh, he claims he is real. He keeps saying that. And he tells me to stay away from uh, scam shows. But I'm not. Ooh. After we received this video from Jody, our Way search specialist researched every person that was involved with Colin. And he wouldn't believe what happens next. By the way, guys, please oh. don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get back into it. Do, to this hey, video. Jody, how are you? <sighs> Linny. Hi. Okay. Bro, what is with Jody and recording videos as if she's been taken hostage, bro? The TT has nothing to do with this, by the way. If you're unfamiliar what the TT is, you'll find the joke somewhere, I guess. But we have nothing to do with this. We would never do such a thing to Jody, okay? For the sheer fact, we cannot handle listening to her. Stop filming like they're hostage videos. It's all I ask. And also, I also ask, you know, don't be racist. But that won't happen. All right, well, I am happy to meet you. I'm Linny from Social Catfish. Seeing you on the show. Okay. Have a look at the Watch dog. It a lot. Well, I just kind of want to go through go some of these people that are connected as relatives, friends. The first one I want to talk about a little bit is right. about Colin son David. Yeah. I have photos of him in the hospital. Yeah. Can you briefly tell me exactly why he was in the hospital? That was the last... Bro, I'm sorry, but watch. This is, this is a culture shock, right? Look at the screen. Look at the quality here, right? 
And then look at the quality here. Now, I get it. Lini obviously is working with Catfish, so she has to have somewhat, not even somewhat, it's good quality. But, like, what the hell is Jody recording this with, huh? A potato? A cucumber? What? What are we using here? Because it's so bad. I'm not saying she needs to have, like, the latest gear or whatever, right? It's just interesting. It might not be. But okay. What did that just mean? That was the last most recent picture I have gotten. Which? Uh, it was, what, about a month or so ago? He was, I think, I think that's oh. the time he was in the hospital for <laughs> a UTI, <laughs> urinary tract infection. Sorry, to my knowledge, now I could be very wrong, but are you ever hospitalized from a UTI? I, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming she just said UTI and she doesn't know the full story behind it maybe there's complications or something but i'm not sure not a medical expert am i realistically so i say realistically as if it was in any doubt that i'm not a medical professional <laughs> incredible stuff i will tell you for free though that jody's brain is not working so there you go by the way if anyone is doubting and if you're new to this channel and you've never seen Jody before. First of all, you know, congratulations. How does it feel to never n have known about Jody? But secondly, if you doubt, you know, everything I'm saying that, uh, of how bad of a human being Jody actually is, I'll even throw in the update video, which was after the most recent further investigation done into Jody the update video she's even then even after the second investigation she's still batshit crazy just letting you know i was able to find another photo that is exactly like this photo i know that the photo that you have is photoshopped the original photo i have is a picture of a young man yes. it's a stock photo so it's a stock photo that they would use in um, hospital clinic ads online it would be used for drug advertising different things like that anything drug. hospital related but it's definitely the same photo as the the picture of David with the mask on what's happening here oh my god do you know what actually infuriates me her reactions are of someone that's devastated right her kneeling down there, she might as well have been on the floor because we weren't seeing anything other than her top of head, English. But actually, I could get a good uh, view there, the fact that you have no brain. But her reactions are of someone completely devastated, right? You'd, you'd assume she believes these things, but no, she doesn't, so... You need more help, actually. Like, I don't know if I said this in the previous one. I feel like I've come a long way from the reactions of the past. You need more help than just, you know, Catfish and Trilogy Media telling you that you've been scammed. You need medical help, like genuinely, either, either psychologically or, you know, the actual doctors who deal with finding out if you've got some sort of you know mental disorder perhaps you need help from when we okay. see this sure. stock photo this photo that is used on multiple oh, hospital smiling. sites we know that david is not who he claims to be that so are you ready to hear about uh, some of the things we found out about Colin. Uh, uh, I think as ready as I'll ever be. I'm looking at the photo of Colin and he's holding up two fingers. Yes. Okay. Do you know that photo? Yeah. 
Okay, I'm face. looking at that photo and I noticed that it has exactly the same hat, exactly the same smile as the I love you Jody photo. Yeah. yeah. And have you, did you notice that before? Oh yeah, Maybe. yeah. I thought that was quite interesting and cute and um, not nothing too big about it. Yeah, I never mm -hmm. really um, worried about it. Yeah, he's got that army hat. I don't know for sure where he got it, but yeah, he, he claims to have worn it when he had kind of a haircut. <laughs> All right, well, he likes that hat. <laughs> yeah, he was in the army. Let me know in the comments, because I'm definitely not someone who regularly gets haircuts. But surely when you get a haircut, that would be the time to not wear a hat. Because why did you get the haircut in the first place? But let me know your, your thoughts. When you get a haircut, do you put a hat on? That seems a bit counterproductive, but... This photo with him holding the fingers up and the one with Jason, we ran those and we found them online. And one thing we noticed that your photo does not have is that each of these photos uh, have the original photo actually have a time stamp and a date stamp on the, on the photo. Huh. The one with him holding up two fingers was taken in 2008. And the one of him with Jason was taken in 2007. So we know that these are not new photos. We know that these are 13, 12 years old. So we know for sure that these are not recent pictures and the real person in these photos would look a lot older than that. So the photo that you have has the date removed Swap them because around. someone does not want you to see that that is Interesting. an old photo, but a new one. We, we ran these photos and I found a picture that could be him. Um, we think it's him. And it is also a stock photo. It shows him with a little boy on his shoulders and he's laughing. And it is in an article about uh, father involvement in the home. Uh, this photo also has a note on it that it is from a news media file. So it's also a stock photo created for news media to use wherever they need to use it. This is a photo that anyone can use. He looks older in it. He has a hat on that is a Canadian company. Uh, I cannot believe that because he was Here we go. probably in... Um, Afghanistan at the time, and that would have been shortly after about the time that David was taken to Ghana for school. Shut the hell up. Shut your stupid, dirty, racist, bigoted, filthy mouth. All right. What is the point? I absolutely hate it. And it's not just Jody. When the victims come on here, I want help. Here's a video of me explaining my story and begging for your help. Oh, you, 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 you are telling me that the person is not real, huh? Well, against every single moral that I may have in my body, and that's a very severe lack of it, I'm now going to be so ungrateful to you that you're going to wish that you never ever stepped foot into this room, opened that laptop, jumped on this call and told me about this thing because you're a sack of shit. I hate it and I don't understand it. Just because, let's apply this logic to actual life as well, right? If you want someone's help, you have to be able to understand and have it within you to be open, right? Because more, more often than not, what you're doing is stupid because that's why you're seeking advice, right? In most cases, if it's just regular, you can hopefully, you guys watching this, for the most part, a lot of you will have the smarts about you to be able to distinguish you know, two different examples from what I'm talking about. But to the people who are actually massive fools, you're going to take this 
And now you're going to comment, uh, what do you, you calling me stupid? Does that mean you're saying I'm stupid? Yeah, I am actually. You specifically typing that, yeah, you are. Get a grip of yourself. But anyway. First, you need to calm down. If you're asking someone for advice on something, you do need to be open because you, this person you're asking advice from, they have different perspective. They have a different, you know, life experience to you. Their advice might not be what you want to hear, might not be what you think is the correct thing to do. But then you take it with a pinch of salt. That's the beauty of listening to other people, right? You, you take their advice and then you ultimately do whatever the hell is that you want to do, right? But you can't then get angry or disregard their advice just because it's not what you wanted to hear. Because why did you then ask this person? You wanted them to say what you were thinking to essentially validate your own self. But that's not the way to live life. Just letting everyone know, um, if anyone you speak with are similar, for example, and they don't take your advice or they get angry at you for being honest, being truthful, which is a great example here. When I react to these victims and people say I'm harsh or whatever, yeah, cool. They might not want to hear what I'm saying, but it's the truth and it's better than babying them. If that, if all of that makes sense, anyway. Well, this little blonde boy doesn't look like David. Yeah. Well, he was blonde at one time. David was blonde, but he has gotten browner hair as he got older. Oh, that's, yeah, okay. that's how it works. But the point is, these types of that photos, just like the hospital one, are usually done by models, usually done... By the way, it's one thing to be so delusional that you're going against Trilogy Media. They can handle it, right? If you dare start becoming an evil, just diabolical piece of shit towards Linny, I will have a word with you. Which I will not. <laughs> Unless the Jody account comes back to comment. Go watch that if you haven't. So it'll be up there. To this day, I don't know if it was the real Jody. Pi was a fun experience. By people for specific reasons. And these images, we don't know how old they are, but they are life. available on the internet to anyone who wants to use them. And in this case, it actually has the owner, which is Black Press Media, who own this photo. Jody, I want to talk about the pictures of Colin in the blue shirt. It's kind of a selfie photo. It's a blue shirt with white. I don't think I realized in the other video, but does this look like a completely different guy to the one wearing the hat? I don't know. I feel like he looks very, very different. Sleeves. The man with the jacket has a logo on the jacket. It's a Y in a circle. And when we look that at that logo, it is a logo from BYU. No, sorry, sorry. But when we say this is a Y, I don't think that's a Y. Which way am I supposed to be looking at this for it to look like a Y? Because to me, that looks like a face hugger from Alien. And if anyone is wondering, yesterday, I watched, well, at the time of recording yesterday, I watched the new Alien Romulus. Incredible movie. Just my opinion, anyway. That looks like a face hugger. So I'm scared. That's not really a why. So why would you say that? <laughs> BYU, Brigham Young University in Provo, Utah. With that in mind, we found an article featuring Brigham. this same man. And he is not anyone called Colin O'Connor. He's bugging out there. His name is William Hank Taylor. He's a former BYU pitcher at that university. And he is military, and he is still in active duty on a military base in Texas at the time, right now. I so we know that that photo does not belong to Colin, and that Colin is not who he claims to be. 
Another thing we need to mention, the picture of him with the blue shirt is not the same man as the man with the two fingers and the army hat. You would think that someone so in love with someone for seven years would be able to see that this is a completely different person. But apparently, no. So when you tell me you're in love and whatever and these victims, it's not, it's not about greed. I don't believe it. He, she was promised a house, cars, what? What was I? What did I just make there? That noise, <laughs> and I was gonna move swiftly on as if nothing happened. Get a grip of myself. Oh, chest. Send me money and I'll open up a pony pans. You naughty, naughty. You teasing me. You naughty, naughty. It's just interesting to me that they these people supposedly in love for so long they can never see such obvious differences. I bet it's Joey though, isn't it? So these are two different men altogether. Huh. We found I this photo. It was fairly good and fairly similar in that it was definitely him in all and, of them. And moments. that's one of the that's things that they do is it that's looks similar. That's it. But it is a different man. One of the ways we know this is we found both of these images independently. They don't appear together. The one with Mr. Taylor appears with many, many more pictures of Mr. Taylor um, on romance scam reporting sites. So he has a whole group of photos that have been stolen and used by scammers. And then we find the army hat man on, an, on another page with more photos of him and he is not the same man. So every photo that you had, every military photo, all of these photos have been reported on scam reporting sites as stolen and used in scams. He told, I asked him about that one where he's kneeling down by the uh, uh, wall thing there. And uh, he said that that was taken when he was younger in uh, Afghanistan by a, uh, fellow military person. Well, I can tell you that's not true as well, because if you look in that picture, towards the left-hand corner, there's a little seal. It's part of a circle. It's like a metal on the wall. And in the middle of that is a beehive. Okay. And we know that the beehive state is Utah, and that, that particular emblem is of BYU. That's where that photo was taken. <laughs> oh my God. Bro, is she like, is she combusting here? Like, it's very fidgety, right? I don't think I realized it in the previous episode, but calm down. You, you, funny we mentioned bees. It looks like you got bees swarming in your ass. Just relax, relax. Relax. Why? Oh my God. Would you say that Colin's life is more complicated with all kinds of outrageous things happening to him than the, tip more, than the typical person? I'm not sure because he says you cannot judge things over there the way that we would here in America. What? He says things are a lot different over there. He would have been home a long time if this didn't happen, his accident, David's illness, the passport issue with his son. Has that many tragedies happened to you personally in your life? I don't know. He's got a lot on his plate he claims to have millions of dollars he's yeah he's got a lot on his plate because you've probably fed him for his entire lifetime and once again i don't believe that you've only sent thirty thousand. he's got caviar for dinner 
He's got lobsters and he's sprinkling on gold flakes for no reason other than he can because of your Apple gift cards. <sighs> A couple of accounts down in Texas. What? He's trying to contact his bank to get money. He's trying to get an account over in Africa to transfer the money. The best proof. <laughs> I'll, uh, the best proof of delusion is thinking that someone would, for whatever reason, move to another country for their son to go to school and, and have no means of buying anything. Like, that's probably the stupidest thing you could ever do. I, should I, for example, should I move? Like, where's a country that I really like? Uh, maybe I might live there in the future. I don't know. Bali, right? If I go to Bali right now, I bring nothing with me. No money, nothing. I've randomly got a child that's spawned in from somewhere. And I say, yeah, we've moved here so you can go to school here. But I, I got nothing, mate. So let's just hope that I can rely on my military background and find some lonely, desperate, bigoted woman who is who is delusional and and just lacking any sense of common sense and will survive my child. Is a video chat, which it sounds like you've never done. Uh, there's- well, he, uh, tried. he tried yeah, at one time guess. and I said Let no. me guess. What do you mean you said no? His bandwidth wouldn't work? I don't know. No, no, you couldn't see tried. him? No, he tried to do a video chat about when we first met. But I said no, because I didn't know how. I'm sorry to say that after no, seven no. years, with technology as it is, no. a video chat Ooh, would... Why is she smirking and laughing like that? Chill out. Don't ever do that again, right? I don't know why you also stuck your tongue out. Look at that. I don't know if you can see, because she's recording this with a can of Pepsi, apparently. Pepsi, sponsor me. Look at, what is that? That's evil. If you see this in a horror movie, you would think, yeah, that belongs in this. What is this? I don't understand the context here. This face, it gives me the vibes of, yeah, sure, I believe you. Yeah, definitely. And, and Linny, don't say... I'm sorry to s just say it. Don't be sorry. Effect. That would have taken place before now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well. Uh... Um, yeah, he tried, and then it wasn't too long after that or so that uh, we had a little bit of problem communicating on because his computer got stolen, and then he got another computer from his friend, his major. And then that broke down later on in Africa when he got to Ghana. Okay, here's another thing about the military. Here's, an, here's another thing about the military. Everything is taken care of, which I assume Linny is about to say. I, I can't remember what story this was on, but if it was the previous Jody episode, then cool. But taking, taking your major's laptop to... Boss, I, I need to speak to this woman. She, really important in my life. Can I borrow your laptop? My one broke for some reason. Yes, General. You can take my laptop. Thank you, boss. <sighs> it's broke. My lap the, 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 gen the Major's laptop broke as well. So can you send me some gift cards? Thank you. Welcome to H's Acting School. Shut the f up. They have all the best technology. That is true. All the best. 
the best computers, the best phones, the best security, the best Wi-Fi. His personal computer, his own laptop. It, it doesn't matter. It no. The In the military, they use military issued electronics. Well, the also his computer that he had that we first started chatting on got stolen, and then My later dude. on. The computer he got from his major broke down in Africa after he had already left Afghanistan. This is going to be hard for you, Jody. The best way to do it is walk away. No explanation. These scammers, they work in groups. They have networks. Many. This may be one person, but most likely it's many people. And what it does resist the urge to confront him because all it does is teach them to be better scammers than they already are and the important thing is Man. that if we're talking teach them to be better as in they are now using stories where a plane has crashed in a jungle and they've used the tools of a nearby tribe to repair the the plane Sure, if that's what we call being good, yes, they're better now. If you're wondering where that's come from, Nancy episode, I'll slap it up there. So many cards in, in this video, huh? I've put so many. A great YouTuber I am. Some victims, as harsh as it might seem, but when I say as harsh as it might seem, you know, one hand, I say that, but on the other hand, most of the time, I don't care and I'm going to say it regardless and people can get offended if they want. It's not anyone's job on the internet. Understandably, if you're just being hateful and a bigot, you got issues. But if it's small things that you find triggering to yourself, how would anyone else know about this? So learn to be respectful of not respectful just learn that the internet is not built solely for you basically you're gonna hear things you don't like you can you can express your opinion sure but that doesn't mean people should tiptoe around your triggers again another tangent Good. as harsh as it might seem some people cannot be helped and, and Jody is a great example, which is an oxymoron in itself, if you just end the sentence there. But Jody is a great example of someone who just cannot be helped, right? As unfortunate as it might be, which to me it isn't because she's a really spiteful, hateful person. You just have to let them do what it is that they do. You've, you've done your best, right? Linny has been very patient here, right? Way more than I would ever be. So big up, Linny. But sometimes you have to know when to cut the rope, so to speak. This person is not who he claims to be because there is nothing, not one thing that we were able to find that matched any of the stories that he was telling you. So... Oh my God. I don't think God wants anything. Thank you to do with so much, Jody. There's a lot of people that need to hear this story, and okay. I do appreciate you so much. For sure. Okay, thank you. Yeah, bye bye. Just, yeah, bye. thanks, man. Thanks. That's basically what it was. What well, we're still recording for some reason. Is Drew on there? Huh? Coming on? Sorry? We revealed everything to Jody, but she was a little confused and in denial. In the end, our job is to uncover the facts, but we do care about these people that come to us and we want to make sure that they have the information they need there? and are able to move on with their lives. Why should I ask for Drew? Our videographer Drew had dealt with Jody a lot and built a good rapport with her. He decided to get on camera and help get rid of what doubt she had about Colin being fake. By the way, if anyone is, you know, sort of taken aback that the racist is building a good rapport with drew who is a black man don't be fooled all right if you go back and watch the other one she explicitly i'm not making this up right she said it that drew 
is one of the good ones, right? What in tarnation does that mean? Huh? What what does that mean? Well, the rest of black men in this world are bad and Drew's a good one. What does that mean exactly, right? Before anyone says, how can she be racist? She, look, she she's, has a good rapport with Drew. Shut up. Use some common sense here, man, please. Hey, Jody, can you hear me? Hey, yeah. Jody, I know it's a lot to kind of take in right now. The black and white truth is you've been involved in a romance game. Oh, my God. And if I don't maybe block him right away and he tries to contact me next week on the money and he gives me the story, I'm going to be stuck here and all of that. Where's the money? It doesn't sound like an if or a maybe in this scenario. Quite literally, it sounds like you're describing literally everything that's going to happen because, oh, it might be a planned conversation. The scammer has said, I'll call you next week to discuss this, this, that. How do I? The best thing that you can do is block him. Anytime he tries to reach out to you, you block him. Um, depending on, I know you sent a lot of the money through gift cards. Um, you... I sent some in gift cards. A lot of it was cash to uh, New York, and then they sent it through Bitcoin, apparently. Yeah, so like, it's going to be... Apparently. You don't even know how your money is reaching this random love of your life who you've never seen. You don't know how the money's getting there. That's a red flag. If you don't know where your money's going, well, you, you kind of do. You know where it's supposed to be going, but you don't know how it's getting there, whatever. Don't, don't give up your money, right? And that can apply to websites online where, for example, you're buying something. If it doesn't look legitimate, you search it up. If you don't know where your money's going, don't shitting buy it very hard for you re to recover that money uh because of the way that you sent it and the reason why he asked asked for you to send it in those forms is because he's a scammer and he doesn't want to be traced back he sent you sent the money in non-traceable ways yeah. so um he's kind of covering his tracks scammers do a good job of doing that i tried to file i think a regular police report kind of a police report that i was maybe being scammed they said that they can't do anything, the local police. Oh, yeah. And then later on, I went to the FBI and yeah. they wouldn't do anything. I even gave them names of who I had at the time. of my. I have a question, right? When the victims say that they went to the FBI, um, I always thought the FBI, you just can't contact them, right? So you, the way they describe it, it's like it's a quick email. Hey, FBI, uh, please help me. Is it like that in America? Because, for example, if we're talking MI5 or MI6, I don't know which one is in the UK. Apologies. Don't hound me, fellow UK TT members. But one of them. I don't think I can just contact them. Or can I? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Can you just willy-nilly contact the FBI and try to get help? It's interesting. Contacts, and they wouldn't even really do anything because well, it, that was too small of a thing. But it's still good to document that you filled out a police report either way. Even if they don't do anything, I still um, would advise you to fill out one. And um, two, most of these scams are done by uh, people in, 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 in outside of the United States. A lot of those countries, they don't, they don't uh, police um, this type of scam. So, um, yeah. unfortunately, that's just what it is. They wouldn't even take a report. Yeah. Well, I would go to the FBI. I would just fill out. I would tell them that you. When did you get so clued up on scams? <laughs> Apparently, you know everything about international romance scams now. They don't even file reports, man. Gosh, can you imagine? Okay. What, what does that mean? What's happened there? lost $30,000. I would go it's to the FTC 
and I would also attempt to just go to your local police department and I would keep all of those addresses. I would keep them in a, in a, in a folder because one day um, you never know where technology is going to be at, you know, in a couple of years or, you know, a decade. Um, and you so might be able to recover some money. But right now, um, because of the way that you sent the money, it's going to be pretty hard to, to recover it. And I'm so sorry no that this happened to you. And then we also have um, our FCF seeker, Seekers group. So I'll send that over to you. And um, in inside of that group, it, it's a Facebook group. Everyone in the group has been touched by romance scam in some way. So um, it's good to kind of be around people that, you know, have gone through the same thing you have. Been touched. Okay, that's nice. Jody, I, I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. Um, I appreciate you. you sharing your story with us today. Um, and I hope to speak to you soon, okay? Okay, thank you. <laughs> you you spoke to her real soon. Don't worry about that. And then you spoke to her again afterwards with another update. She was sitting in a car, if I remember correctly. Down on her luck again. Well, put it nicely that way. So you spoke to her soon. Don't worry. Please block Thank him. You. Please block okay. him. He, okay. She did okay. not. Bye. Spoilers. Bye. Thanks for watching another episode of Scamfish presented by socialcatfish.com. Okay. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See yeah. you next time. Do that to this video as well, please. I'm begging you. Scams come in so many different forms. If you have been... Okay, you're whispering there, Linny. But if any of these scams you're involved, you know, contact authorities. I need everyone to understand that I don't need you to understand anything. You know the Jody story. It went even further left than, than just this. I wish I watched this beforehand. But what did I know, right? I didn't know. The other one came up on my recommended back when I was like a small time YouTuber. <laughs> Obviously now I'm huge, right? <laughs> I can quit my job and everything. Yeah. Maybe one day, maybe one day we can grow this channel to like be big and then we can do great things. But thank you everyone for even putting me in this position that I'm in. Because compared to that first reaction to Jody to this, we've grown so much. So thank you all. Um, basically, don't send money to someone that you haven't met in many, many years. And don't be a bigot, please. I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you did enjoy, because the other one was a lot more infuriating. Here, we didn't really get any of the bigotry. Oh, but we're blessed with it in the other one. If you want to watch more, they'll be up there. If you want to watch, again, as I mentioned several times, the first Jody video, it'll be here if you didn't click the cards throughout. Much love. Bye. Drop it in the comments and timestamp. Do you think Jody to this day is still being scammed? <laughs>